Hello and welcome to the Nexus. Today we're doing stage 44 of our Enterprise build. Let's get going. Okay, so here's all the pieces that we've got. And um, we've got the last little bits here for the uh, Cobra head. And as you can see, they say Enterprise on them, which is really nice. Let me grab that. Since last video, uh, I've done some investigating. I've put new batteries in it a couple of times and it's dead. Don't know why. Um, I'm contemplating about opening it back up, um, uh, but I don't know at this stage uh, whether I'll do that or not. But yeah, disappointed is uh, a bit of an understatement. I'll get all this far. It, it was working perfectly. I tested it before I did the last issue. Uh, I put the I put the stickers on like we're supposed to, uh, and as you saw from the last one, it didn't work. Um, I did put new batteries in. In fact, I've tried a, a couple of new batteries, just not working. The only thing I can suggest that's happened is the wire for the battery box has come out. Um, so it means me opening up this panel again which is going to be an absolute nightmare so i don't know what to do at this point uh but let's put these last parts on because we can uh we can at least okay so this one goes this side and they just push on so these are going to be quite easy to take off if need be so we're going to stick this one on and it just it literally just sort of pushes in like so uh, and these this these parts here officially complete uh, this part of the build so we actually at this point we've completed a, a section of our build once again that goes in and that is all complete minus it just doesn't work <laughs> Um, I am, I, I don't, I mean, it's nice to have it lit up. I personally don't know how often I'm going to have this lit up uh, anyway, but to say I'm a bit disappointed is an understatement because it was really nice lit up. Um, I know it's only the head, um, but the impulse engine's on there as well. So I might have to do a bit of investigating to find out why. I don't know whether... A wire got trapped and then um, it's pulled something or something's come out. I do believe, I, I'm pretty certain the wire for the battery box or the switch has come out. Um, because um, if there was power going through and one of the lights didn't work, to say that all of them don't work suggests to me um, that because the circuit board's up here, it's an absolute nightmare, but suggests to me that the power has come out somehow i don't even know how because they're all sort of pushed in quite quite well but it is what it is so anyway i want i want to just move on from that but that's looking really nice now this part is officially complete so we can actually put that aside somewhere nice out the way um and yeah we won't need this now until we connect it to the um to the star drive section secondary hull um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I will investigate further and, uh, if I find out what's wrong with it, I'll let everyone know. Um, if there's, if it just doesn't work, I don't know what to do, but, hmm, yeah, it's what it is. It is what it is. Anyway. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we've got a saucer section that we're going to do. So we're going to turn this over. And uh, we're just going to do this to make sure, making sure that the uh, the red line is at the bottom here. So it's one in there, one in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Then we're going to stick our panels. So we've got uh, this one here with the cut out. That one is going to sit just there. This one is slightly curved. Obviously, that is going to sit just like that we've got our wires here so our red red and black wire is going to go into this one into this one here 
and the green and yellow one is going to go into here and then we'll test them so i'm going to go ahead and do all that now okay as you can see we've done that now when you um do this you do this panel first when you stick this one on the green light has to be bent up slightly to sort of uh get it in place in fact i think it's supposed to sit something like that now what we're going to do is we're going to test it out so yeah it's all lit up so we can like, take that off we can now clear this up and then go over to our and get our saucer section because that's the next part that we need just clear all the rubbish right now um we do need bm screws let me uh get them ready because uh, I believe we only need two of these BM screws. So, so let me bring our source section over. So this is it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass the wire through this gap here. And just give it a little bit of a pull. And then we're going to stick this in. So it's going to go in like so. Let's uh, push it up in the middle. Flip it over. So we can sort of uh, just align it. It will obviously pop once we've um, started sticking the screws in. But we're going to put two BM screws just in the top section just here. Um, so all these wires here will come through this gap like that. So it's just these two screws here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. They're the BM ones. Okay, so that was a bit tricky. That was just there. Um, and it's it slid in. All right, now I had to sort of pull and push it just to sit it in. I had to move some of the wires as well and loosen some of the other panels to get it in, but it's in, so it's nice. It's all there, right? So uh, that is it, I do believe, for stage 44. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let us know in the comments what you think. And as always, we'll see you at the next video. Take it easy, guys.